Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Dark Let's Play Dark Fall Lost Souls. In the last episode, we were collecting eyes for some reason. And we got the key to uh, room 1E. So, when I can find that in my inventory, there it is. We're gonna hop on in. Uh, the light it burns! Okay. Do a thing. Oh, I don't have anything in my inventory because we're in the past, I guess. Do a thing. C rapier cigarettes. Ooh, with a thing inside. Matilda Fly, The Kiss of Death, 1946. The stars of the stars of stage and screen with rapier cigarettes. Oh, sounds like someone's on the phone. Keep calm, Keep calm Gloria. Just, just think. Think, think hard. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else to note over there. The sun is setting. Okay. Seems comfy enough. Well, I'll never sleep again. I want to explore the entirety of the room before I answer that. It's not like they're going to go anywhere. The car, the car is hidden. Out of sight, out of mind. Can I grab? I can't grab the key, huh? No point in packing. I won't be staying. Oh. Oh, I see. Dark. Dowerton Messenger. They have it all wrong. They know nothing about me. Dowerton Messenger, Evening Edition, April 29th. 1947. Includes weekend farming news. Ooh. <laughs> Sly Fox strikes again. Masked lady robber evades police. Police are hunting the countryside for the elusive Sly Fox. After she gave Scotland Yard the slip of this very morning, the real identity of the criminal mastermind is a popular mystery, with hundreds of eyewitnesses claiming to know her real identity. But police have admitted they are no closer to catching the slippery thief. The Sly Fox carried out her most daring raid this morning on the black, uh, on the Bank of Britain itself, a symbol of financial greed and fat cat's paradise. All should have gone to plan for the Fox, but an anonymous tip off to the police led to a violent siege in which the police used firearms. The Sly Fox and her accomplice were not harmed. The mystery man was shot down attempting to escape in a silver motor car, but the Sly Fox escaped. The car was last seen leaving London at frightening speeds in the direction of West Country. Uh, the West Country. Full story on page two. Hmm. Oh, I can grab that. No point in packing. I won't be staying. Ah. Right. Ooh. The Station Hotel. A coffee for one and one alone. One coffee, one scotch whiskey, April 29th. At the same time? That sounds horridly rancid. I mean, I imagine she's... coffee for one and one alone. I didn't realize you were going to say that the second time I picked it up, Gloria. Anyway, I'd imagine it's not at the same time, right? It's like she's got the coffee and the scotch on the side for later. It's like, if you combine those, I can't imagine that tastes good together. That sounds like someone's vacuuming. Oh, look at all the blood money! It's not enough. It can never be enough. Ah. 
I see. I must hide the evidence. Yes. Ah, the light it burns! I only picked up one thing for that damn suitcase. Is the thing I'm stuck? Back, back in my own time. I hope. What's happening here? Was that someone's memory? Probably. You don't say. Oh god, what have I done? Oh hey, we're back. Um... Is there some I think I just went back to the same memory I was already in. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna uh look up. Nothing, huh? Okay. Wait, wait. There's someone in the hall. Time to lay low. Ah. Alright. Fair enough. I mean, I don't... Oh! I have... I found two of them. Okay, was there more to this room that I just didn't notice, maybe? Now it leads me back to here. That's her suitcase. There's nothing to do with that. Hmm. I don't think I can look under the bed, can I? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Let's go over to this box here. Because, I mean, there's clearly stuff I can do here. Hmm. Looks like I need one, two, three more. Now, will they stay in that position? They will not. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I didn't check the drawers. Happy Haunts... I must act always travel alone. Holiday Haunts 1947. Oh, that was the only thing that was there, huh? That's a uh, bummer. I was kind of hoping there might be something between the pages or something. Hmm, let's see. She said there was no reason to unpack... Oh! There's three. Okay, so I did miss the other few. They're probably like in the edge of the screen or something. Can I open these drawers? Evidently not. This is just gonna trigger the same voice line, I'm guessing. They have it all wrong. They know nothing about me. Mm hmm. They sure don't. No point in packing. I won't be staying. No, no, not at all. You're gonna bounce out of here really quickly, right? A fox hunt. The poor, poor creature is trapped. Oh, yes. A fox hunt. The poor, poor creature is trapped. Don't want to interact with the painting, though, huh? That's reasonable. I mean, why would you? Was there one on the table? Did I find the one on the table already? I mean, most likely. Okay, that's probably just gonna lead back to the station hotel receipt, right? Coffee, coffee for one and one alone. Sure did. Okay, well, let's look at some of these other paintings, see what uh, memories they elicit. They'll never, They'll never know their fate. Huh. They'll never, They'll never know they are fakes. Interesting. And if I hit uh, that, it's going to trigger us back to his own time. The inspector's own time. Someone's still in the hall, right? Wait, wait. There's someone There's in the someone hall. In the hall. Time to lay low. Alright, cool. 
I just wanted to make sure. Huh. Oh, I see. It's one of these. Okay, it's five turns, but that made it match up, it looked like, so... I don't know. Hmm. Well, it might be time to go to the handy-dandy walkthrough. I spent a lot of time on this. Oh, well. Huh. I didn't... Okay. I need to take note of what Gloria says when you look at Holiday Haunts, because apparently it's random and it might be necessary according to the walkthrough. Why must I always travel alone? Why must I always travel alone is what she said. Okay. Why must I always travel alone? Hmm. Okay, I got that colored piece. Check the bed. This is also random. Always travel alone. Seems, Seems comfy, comfy enough. enough. Well, I'll never sleep again. Comfy enough. I'll never sleep again. Okay. Uh, poor thing looks trapped when she looked at the foxes. Never tell it's fake for the other ones. Okay, check pictures around the room. Look close at pictures above the side table. Oh, I didn't look at these pictures. Hmm, local views, pretty little things. Oh. Local views. Hmm. Check the Tower of London picture left of the door. This is random. Okay. So, alone. Never sleep again. They'll never, They'll never know they're fakes. They'll never know they're fakes. Okay, picture on back wall of the fox hunt. A fox hunt. The poor, poor creature is trapped. Poor creature is trapped. Uh, let's see, turn left, back room, check chair with a small hat box. We already got that piece. We did look, oh wait, it mentioned something about the newspaper. Read the newspaper on top of the dresser in the corner. Oh, hold on. Okay. Read the newspaper, top of the dresser. Take note of what Gloria says. This is random. They have it all wrong. They know nothing about me. All wrong. They know nothing about her. Okay. table. Wait, did I get a piece from the chair? Now that I think about it. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything there, so I must have gotten it, yeah? Table. Look at the table with the coffee cup. Take colored piece four. I don't see a colored piece on there. Wait, hold on. How many pieces do I have right now? I think it's four, yes? Because that, I had three and this one's four. Okay, so yeah, no, we're caught up. Open the suitcase. Blood's water money. That one's the same. She wants to hide money, looks at the floor, train passes. Time to go back to the present day of 2010. I'm going to go back, click on the glowing symbol above the bed if you want to come back to present day. Okay, so there's only four pieces in this timeline. I just wanted to check and make sure that that was, in fact, correct. And I might as well put the piece in here now because I don't want to take the chance of not having the piece there. Okay, so I guess we're going to need that other piece. 
So let's uh, head on back to our time, shall we? And I guess I can always go back to the past to review what she says about everything. If I forget, because I'll forget. Let's be real. It's not enough. It can never be enough. I must hide the evidence. Time to go back to our time! Okay, I'm not gonna hit that symbol again. Unless I need to. Yes, yes, I hear you, you kissing thing. Ooh! Peace 5! Well, I wanna explore more of this room before we go back. Hmm? Oh god, it's one of these things. Hit with this. Oh, so that's what all that hissing was about. Yes, yes, I see. Gross thing. Oh no, that's just gonna bring me back to the gross pulsating thing. Alright. How do I get away from you? Can I leave? Thanks. Is that really the only thing of value in here, is that little bit? Because I was kind of... Well, I mean, I guess we'll interact with that thing when we get the proper thing to interact with it. This electrical work is ancient. Yes. Alright, Inspector, let's go back to uh, the other time, because now we have all the pieces we need to properly do that puzzle. I know, Gloria. But it's puzzle time. Okay. So what happens when I turn this one? Okay, it turns the middle dial as well. Okay. So they all turn the middle dial. Wait, what side do I want that on? Let's see, the blue needs to be over here. The red needs to be over here. The green here. Okay, so I gotta get this one red. Perfect! Got it in two. Oh, wow, there's a lot in here. Oh. Oh, my. I assure you I didn't grab that because I'm a perv. Oh, who am I kidding? I know who I am. Look, I like boobs. I like chests. But I'll admit that was kind of just a random grab. Huh, looks like a uh, horror pulp comic. Okay, that goes there. I can tell you where this goes. Oop, come on. There we go. Uh, maybe that wasn't close enough. Hmm. Okay, hold on. This, I guess, has to be a little higher. Oh, but that's locked into place. So, you definitely go here. You definitely go up here. There we go. A little bit more that way. And you're already in place, so I don't know why I, uh, tried to move it. Crime True Tales, eh? Oh, hold on, I gotta move some pieces so we can get to that. Uh, damn it. Come on, mouse. Uh, you go here. The Sly Fox. Oh, it's about her. 
Okay. A Kristoff. Okay, so I learned about Kristoff. And that we did that puzzle with the flyers that what we needed? Hmm. Well, I looked at the walkthrough. Apparently, I should have killed that leech with uh, my scissors. That was silly of me not to try killing the leech. Why wouldn't I do that? Wish there was a way to skip through the stuff you've already seen. There you are. It's not enough. It can never be enough. I must have I'll skip. I'll be back. Yes, I hear you. Don't worry, I'm off to kill you now. Oh, I got the thing. I stab at thee! Oh wait, I gotta wait till it stops moving. Okay. I think that breaks my scissors. Ah. Well, now what do I do? Um... Hmm... Hmm... I guess I... turn away and now see if there's anything I can do over there that... the leech isn't... Now the leech isn't there, maybe I can interact a little closer with some of the stuff here? Oh! Um... I don't have, uh... Scissors anymore, do I? I think they broke on that thing. I can't exactly pull things up, which means I'm gonna have to go back to the room with the scissors and grab a new pair. Alright, I'll be back! in room F again. Is the way the scissors room or is the scissors room across from the sound recall? It's like a zigzag pattern to get there. It's room 1B if I remember correctly. I forgot I go in there through the other thing. Whoops. I forgot. For B, it's a loop. So here we are. In room C. Then we go to D. And we go over here. We move this out of the way. Turn on the light, so I can go over here, so I can grab a pair of scissors, so I can then... I didn't mean to look down. Turn around. Hello, gents. Thank you for the pair of scissors. I appreciate it. And then I go over here. I go over to there. I open the cabinet. So I can go back here, so I can turn around, and go through there, which leads me to E. Ugh. 
Okay, I'm back! And now, I have a pair of scissors to fiddle with the floorboards. Let me just, uh, grab this bad boy and there we go. Come on. Come on, there it is. Ah! I mean, I might as well take the money too, yeah? Oh, but clearly this is what we came here for. April 28th. Midnight Mayfair, London. All is set. All is ready. Soon we will be rich and free of the agency once and for all. Those Nazi bastards will never find us. We will hit the Bank of Britain just before they open. No casualties that way. The car is already packed for Monaco, so it can whisk us away to a wonderful new future. I feel more alive and passionate than ever. Soon, my darling. Soon we will be free. Okay, this is clearly the route they were planning on taking. A uh, car and route here. There seems to be some brakes, which I guess means they drive the car, they go through this building, they then go around this way, go through that building, go around, go through that building, and then make their way to the bank. I also see the Nazi swastika. Bank of Britain, April 29th, 7.30 a.m. Threadneedle Street, London. Something is wrong. There are too many bystanders. I've been observing the bank for weeks, and it was never as suspicious as this. Is someone babbled? Or blabbed? Are the agency behind this? No. No, that can't be. It's just my nerves. Ten minutes till I go in and the crime begins. All that planning, all that preparation, it's all about to come to fruition. Our future begins in mere moments. So why am I so apprehensive? My instincts have never misled me before. Oh look, some blood money. April 29th, 3 p.m., somewhere in Dorset. I can barely write these words. He's gone. Dead. Shot down in a blaze of bullets. Damn those evil bastards! The agency. It was a setup. A cunning, deadly trap. Oh god, there was so much blood! I made it to the car, but he... Oh my darling! He fell, only yards away from the car. I could not wait. I had to flee. I hit the pedal, taking one last glance. The blood it was running into the gutter. Then I was gone forever. I did not stop until the fuel ran low. I must have trailed hundreds of miles. I'm so tired. I had to stop, and this place looked ideal. Small, unknown, deserted. Perfect. Oh, my darling, what shall I do? They will find me. I have so little time. I made this far, but there's nowhere to run. Perhaps there's a way out. And we could still be together forever. Well, uh... Hmm, I'm not really sure what to say to that. Alright, um... Hold on, I think this is where we did things a little out of order, because I think the next thing to do would be open the box. Because now it's mentioning, the walkthrough's mentioning the magazine. I just started looking after we finished with the blood money. Uh, magazine, put together, picture of her lover, present day, open the suitcase. Suitcase? There's a suitcase? I don't see a suitcase. Oh, I have blood money. Wait, was that what I was supposed to do? 
Okay. So I put money on the table? Where, where did it go? Did I just... What? Mentioned a suitcase in the present day. Hold on, Glory. I'll try to help you pass on, but I'm trying to figure out what the ever-loving fuck I'm supposed to be doing here. Hmm. And that's a box. Box is not a suitcase game. Hey, I never went over that way, huh? It doesn't seem to be much of value at the dresser here, though. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's anything over there. Hmm. Okay, I'm confused. Alright, let's look back in. Uh, look closely, uh, put this together, pieces of true tales. Lover, look at the picture of the lover. Present day, room 1E, open the suitcase, hear the train coming, go back to present day. Oh! Oh, it's saying from... It's saying you look at the suitcase to go to the present day in the... Okay, now I see. See, it's time to heal Gloria. Sit... On the chair beside the boxes where you killed the life leech, place the blood money, crime magazine, steering wheel with GG. Oh! Okay. Now I see what we're doing. Doing like a sort of seancey thing here. Alright, so the blood money. The true crimes and the GG steering wheel? I don't know why we're, we need this, but okay, I'll put that down. I thought you'd never make it. It's finally dead! Hmm? Who's there? Where are you? Here. Can you Can not you see me? I'm here. In the driving seat. Ah. Who are you? What happened to you? Why are you here? Have you seen a young girl called Amy? Uh. What happened? What to happened you? to you? Mind your own business. Who are you? Who, who are you? That's for me to know and who to find out. All right. Fair enough. Have you seen a young girl called Have Amy? Have you seen a young girl called Amy? It's her fault. She's keeping us here. You too. I didn't realize I was doing that. I, I apologize. Why are you here? Why are you here? A wretched end to a wretched life is over. Can I help you? Can I help you? Now there's something I must do. And this once and for all. What are you doing? This thing can't move. <laughs> Not in your world, baby, but mine. Please slow down. You'll get us killed. That's the idea. Hold tight. We can both find peace tonight. Oh dear. Why did you not wish to sleep again? Your master forger are quite talented. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, she made. But you were in love. You may be again. Have hope. Led a long, a lonely life traveling alone. Yes, I was born to forget. So your life of crime is over, sly fox. The life you've led 
left you confused and broken. Newspaper? No, no, nothing. Not even your name. Kristoff may be waiting for you in another life. Did I succeed? I've seen things. I am who I am, an inspector. Are you free of your torment? Yes, I can feel it. And you're beginning to be reborn. But not for you. You still have your demons to face. Demons? What demons? Do you mean Mr. Bone? Oh, no. That girl. Oh, Amy. She's darkness itself. She won't let you leave. Can you help me? Please. Take this artifact and my beloved lockbox. Oh, they will help. Thank you. Woo, lockpicks! It's time for me to go. To move on. Thank you, my friend. No problem, Gloria. Ooh. I hope the next life treats you well. Can I... Where's the other piece? Wasn't there, like, two pieces? Or did it put them together automatically? I didn't mean to click... I didn't mean to click that. I wanted to click this. Okay, so it did put them together. Alright. Well, now I've got these lockpicks. We've solved Gloria's trouble. I think now's the perfect time to end the episode. The next episode, I'm not sure... Unless Echo's gonna give me direction once I- You know what, let's leave the door first, see if Echo has any directions for me. Apparently not! Alright, well I'm going back into the room, because it was nice in there. I was just curious if Echo had any instructions for me. Um, let's see, I've got these lockpicks now. Maybe I could get into the safe with the lockpicks? Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, we're going to end the episode here. In the next one, we'll uh, do something. See you guys then.